Like Welcome to today's voice. zombies video. So, so for today's video, we're actually going back into Black Ops 4 and we're doing the 9 Easter egg. So this is a very e easy Easter egg that you can do solo with friends. All can be done really easily. And you can do this in like under an hour. Uh, for me, it usually takes me in about an hour, but no longer than that. Kills, huh? It's very, very, it's a very easy, very simple Easter egg. So right now I'm kind of like getting into a whole bunch of things. So try for like the late uploads and everything i'm kind of like getting um a couple of things not really, i'm kind of getting things a little more straight and narrow um right now i'm currently working on a whole bunch of different things and one of them one of them is both editing um trying, i'm working on trying to get myself the full version of davinci resolve so if you guys do not know i actually edit when davinci resolve and I would like to get the full version for it. Now, I do not have to. I can still work on the free version. But right now, I, I want to. Because I think it, it could make it's editing a lot more easier and uh, faster to do. Then right now, I'm also working on FL Studio. Which is like, I guess, I don't really know too much about it. I'm like, just, I'm a, like, I'm like a huge beginner who's trying to understand like how it all works out and everything. But uh, I'm like completely brand new. I don't know anything. About, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm seeing. I don't know what to do. And if you guys do know anything about FL Studio or you have like a YouTuber that you guys like go to or if you know anything just about the software, uh, please let me know down in the comments because I have no clue what I'm looking at. So. Uh, Without me rambling, let's get started with the Easter egg stuff. So, I'm already late to it, and I'm like watching the playback over, like, over. But, uh, first thing, the first steps of this Easter egg is that you want to pick a banner. So, once you pick a banner, you just gotta knife it. As soon as you get out of spawn, knife one of the banners. Uh, it's gonna be one of the ropes. You knife it, it activates, do the challenges. Now, do you have. You can't. You want to, like, get as much as possible done uh as quickly as possible so the first yes, major actual like step for the easter egg is to go open up the entire map and hit the gong so there's gonna be four go well Order one gong in each of the different Order towers and from in those different nice. towers you need to hit a gong kill the enemy that comes out of it and collect his head so once you're done with that um you can activate pack a bunch so once you kill all the uh, activate all the gongs collect all the heads put them in pack a punch on the little pikes and then you activate pack a bunch so what well, well, when you activate pack a bunch save your specialist because from in from in the pack a bunch area you need to find a skull it'll be a little discolored from all the rest uh but it's going to have a blue symbol on it you need to use your specialist on it to get it out of the wall and for that, you're gonna to need to take it to the grinder, which is an athletic grip. There's three different locations in there, and the grinder is like bright red. It's kind of hard to miss. Um, you place the grind, you place the skull in there, and with a charge shot from the Dirkit's kiss, which is the one the weapon for this map, you need to do a full charge on it and shoot the uh, grinder to get like bone dust. Now. Right here, I collected the poop. The only way to get the poop is to drop your affinity. So, the best way I've found to do that is if you have grenades, like normal grenades, like the Semtex or normal grenades. Uh, I, I think the Semtex are like acid bombs. Throw them into the crowd. They will also drop your affinity. But the best way and kind of like the riskiest way i found to use it to drop my affinity is to either go down or just take keep constant uh keep constantly taking fire damage so the third item right here is the wood pile and you, or you gotta get a you, you can't really necessarily get the gladiator to spawn it just spawns on one of the rounds on one of the later rounds what you need to do is get him to chuck a uh, throwing one of his axes at the wood piles that way you can collect the uh wood piece then you gotta put that in the uh boiler room and i guess it's like a boiler room furnace whatever that pot you gotta stick it like on the little hanger by the pot and underneath odin's uh tower so 
once you do all that, um, you gotta wait a couple of rounds, then, uh, or you gotta wait a couple of rounds because you gotta put it all into a pot that's inside of, uh, Zeus's tower, which is by the bathhouse. It's like a little bowl that you gotta put all the ingredients in. Then, once it starts stinking, then you, uh, you can come back, collect it. I think it's like two rounds, then you could do it again. Um, after two rounds, you collect it, then you gotta put it on Danu's, uh, tower. Then you gotta go into the basement, go put it on Danu's tower. And what for you to activate this, you have to be pack a punch and have a fire bomb as your alternate ammo, your alternate, alternate ammo type. So yeah, once you do that, um, oh, and by the way, like once you place down the poop on Danu's floor, you also gotta wait for that to stink, which is gonna be another couple of rounds. But once it starts sneaking, have firebomb, get a firebomb kill on top of the poop. Uh, I think you gotta sta either stand on top of it or just interact with it. And then you'll be teleported here. So from here, you just gotta destroy the little sacks and that's pretty much about it. And by the way, for this easter egg, uh, Circus Kiss is required for both the beginning and the end steps. So... Pretty much, you just want to keep a circus kiss on you. The free version of it, um, which is, there is a way to get a free version of it. There's like a free version of the weapon weapons for each and every single map. Before you get that, uh, you have to get the head, or not the head, the statue head. And to get the, like, the little pre sap thing, not sure what you would call that. Um, for you to get that, you had to have... You have to activate pack a punch to end the window that's uh, on Daniel and Ross side. Keep the uh, the pot that has like a bowl of fire in it, and it's going to tip over. So you don't have to have a pack a punch weapon. You just use a normal weapon, and then you just it'll roll away. So once you do that, go to the bridge and look for the different area. The different arrow that's going to push you in the direction of where the head is. Then for the vase, you just gotta have keep maintain positive affinity for I believe th three rounds. And then it's gonna give you like the gift from Circuit. It's gonna say like gift from Circuit. Then uh, that's how you get the free, um, the free Wonder Weapon. So, oh, actually, that's not. So what you gotta do with those parts is you gotta place it down in Danu's uh, temple in a tree. Stab, uh, stab the. The thin, like the little needle into the tree, then put the vase on the bottom of the tree. This gonna like drip for I believe either one round or two rounds. Then you get to collect it and poison the box, then you get it to free circus kiss. Now right now we're working on the raw steps, so to do raw temple steps, um you need to go around the map and look for four different bull uh symbols around the map. So there's gonna be some above ground there's gonna be some below ground and what you need to do to fight it is shoot it with the shield so once you hit, hit all four you gonna have like um and by the way like when you hit each one of the bull statues you're gonna have a gladiator that spawns and what you need to do is kill the gladiator because we don't get tired because that's going to charge up uh raw scepter like first, that way you can do the first. step so for this step you it's like simon says but for you, you're also yeah. in a lockdown, and you had to kill and yeah. kill diff each zombie in a specific order. Now, the normal zombies doesn't matter. Uh, so my order is electric. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so it was electric, something, uh, gladiator, and brawler. Gladiator. That was my order. So, Electric will be first, you will kill Electric first, and by the way, if you kill the wrong enemy, or if the wrong enemy oh, dies, uh, it's over. So, it was Electric, Water, Gladiator, and Brawler. So, uh, try not to kill the wrong zombie, because you will fail the step, then you have to waste even more rounds. And by the way, this is also a two-parter, so, you do one part, then you do the second part. For the second part, it's going to be a Blightfather, usually, um, and the order is... Brawler, fire, electric, blight. So the blight fathers, if you guys are not aware, are the big guys on stilts. So um, we'll be first. stomping around, you know, spitting on everything. We don't like those. So 
what you would do is you know kill gladiator or i'm sorry brawler which my duo is doing so he's killing the brawler right now and while he's killing the brawler he's gonna let me know like when he did that way i can kill the rest of the zombies because i have the other two on me and if you be wary the fire ones just try not to get any close to it because on you uh he just might uh kill he might just die like explode himself and then that'll ruin nice. nice. First try. What's next? So now that we're done with that step, uh, we're actually on the Zeus step. Now the Zeus step is not as it's not all that bad. If anything, I think that the raw step is the worst one because it's based on memory. Yeah, what to do? Now, uh, luckily, if you are playing local, not like locally, but if you're playing like with friends, you can pause the game, which was which is a great feature, by the way, that they should definitely bring back. Um, you have the ability to pause the game and uh, unpause, like you can pause it and unpause it for both of you guys, and it's, that's just an amazing touch. Now, for this step, you had to go activate the stand at the podium. So you got to shoot these dials. Like you're gonna be teleported to like. The tunnel area and you just need to shoot these dials so for this you kind of want to use a bullet weapon somehow the hellion also counts as a bullet weapon so you can use the hellion and with the hellion it's going to be even faster than you using a normal weapon but what you need to do is you need to spend i believe there's either three or four different uh dials Yes, they had to spend, but basically what does hap what's happening is it's going to activate uh, these different pylons. Shit, From there, shit, um, you also yeah, going to need to get yourself uh, dead, not dead oh, wire, uh, yeah, kilowatt, one. which is the electric ammo type. And, and really have a what that's going to do kilowatt, is though. it's going to allow you to charge up these different pylons. So the way the pylons work in terms of charging it is that most for you to activate or get the yeah. re the right charge for it zombies in there. you had to get kilowatt to activate oh, one zombies but you had to kill the zombies that are kilowatt that that kilowatt has been applied to so you got to be pretty quick uh pretty fast and honestly it's it'll be like pretty worth to have uh what is it called i think it's time because I believe time slip will also uh, lower like the duration of or yeah I think it will lower like the cooldown on your ammo types. I do know that it works for traps, mystery boxes, and specialists. So right here, activate kill bot, kill him, and then it gets to charge. Now for mini bosses, because mini bosses also count uh, for collecting the charge. For mini bosses, all you gotta do is get yourself kilowatt on your weapon and just kill the mini boss inside the the area. And then once you kill him within the area, it's gonna charge it up even more and it'll make the step even faster. So if you guys can just save all your mini bosses, kill them at the like kill them in the pylons. That way you just instantly finish finish up that step. Because I believe it takes either three or four uh there's either three or four different mini bosses to charge up one pylon, but uh, it's, it's really fast, really easy when you have uh, mini bosses. So if it is on a mini boss round, also do one there. Um, this again will be easier. Then uh, I'll be that. So you just gotta activate all four of the different pylons, and from there. You'll be able to move on to uh, the next step of Odin's, or not Odin, Zeus's uh, challenge. Oh, my son. Carpenter once owed my boss money. I smashed his hands with his own armor. That is it. Oh End my of god, he's so slow. <laughs> the gladiator. Gladiator. <laughs> so. 
It is on. It should be sparking and it's connected already. Double points. Test their faith. Did anyone feel a change in the air? Damn. I swear I just felt a gust up my man's skirt. Alright, you big bastard. Once more. Now that we're on the last it. pylon, uh um, Kind of like you guys in your heads up. When you're finishing up your last pylon and you're on a bonus round like this one, uh, you cannot activate the next challenge. So the next challenge would, would be you activating your uh, whatever, like the challenge thing. Like on the podium, you're gonna be activating the different challenges or uh, the different orbs, like for your challenge. And for this, you cannot activate them while on a bonus round so if you're still on the bonus round kill them get rid of all the zombies and then uh on the next round on the normal round then you'll be able to activate them so right now we're why like trying to figure out like it why it wasn't working and the reason for it is because it's still on a bonus round so now that it is done yeah. now we can activate it now what this bonus round does and I guess what it, what it is is like it's another lockdown, but this lockdown is it's pretty much one of the more fun lockdowns because you get to have infinite specialists and have an infinite specialist. Uh, it's just really fun. I mean, you just want to play with like a pretty pretty good overpowered weapon. Now, for the different specialists, um, well, for this different challenge. Uh, you just gotta get kills and survive. Uh, it can be a little hectic at times. Sometimes it can be easy, sometimes it can be hectic. Uh, just kill them before they you know, reach the podium. Just makes it easier. And also, when your weapon, when your weapon also reaches the uh, like the max level or the max tier, switch out of it. Because you can also use your weapons. Uh, and it takes way too long to kill this. Them, yeah. It's not level three. So once you're done with that tier, switch your weapon, which added is your specialist. That way you can use the level two version and just keep leveling up. Because uh, for for like the different tiers, the different special or the different uh, yeah different specialists, I like using the sector raw because. For me, if I wanted to play solo and I have a level 3, I can place it down the Scepter, and if I go down, I can go into like the Scepter's bubble and rest myself with all my perks. Now, if you're playing with uh, co-op, with like more people, friends and family, you can just uh, res, res people with level 1 Scepter, but if you're solo, you're going to need level 3 Scepter to res yourself. And by the way, like, yeah, you can also one. res yourself too, like, if you're, uh, on quads or, you know, playing with friends or family. All you gotta do is just place down the scepter when you know you're about to go down and okay. just, like, it was like, just, like, crawl into remember. the scepter. Like, in, just crawl into the bubble and then it's gonna res you with all your friends. Now, for this step, this yeah, step is the more... I don't remember the angle. This step this. is a little more, like, the tedious because it's, like, you had to get the exact... Correct location yeah, it's a jump or the shot one, but I don't remember correct the, like, spot the to stand on. So for this, you need the circus kiss or the death of Orion. Doesn't really have to be pack punch. You just use it normally, and you don't have to use charge shots. You just use like regular normal shots. And what is what's happening is it's going through. Well, it's hitting like the initial symbol, but it's hitting up other symbols behind it too. So the way you know you're do you're doing it right is if the symbol stays lit. Right now I did it wrong, and now I did it right. And just to have like the correct thoughts and like the correct like, I guess it would be the correct angle. Just to make sure you had the correct angle, just like look at the ones, just do exactly as I do. And I'm not sure if I yeah we didn't I didn't do the 
other one, which is also another hard one. I think what you want to do is you want to go like. I, I believe it's like on not the second. I want to say you want to be on like the second step. That you want to shoot kind of like under it. So yeah, once you're done with the shooting all the symbols, then you'll do this lockdown. And for this, you just stand on this pressure plate right by this shield. The shield building it. So uh, if you're playing solo, you had to just stand on it. If you're playing co-op, everybody has to stand on it. And what's no, happening is you're having a lockdown of all different types of enemies. So you're gonna have brawlers. You're gonna have uh, yeah, brawlers. Um, why are they the only ones I can think of? No, mind. His name is Dog. Dog. You have brawlers, tigers, uh, catalysts, regular zombies, life fathers, yeah. and gladiators. That's it. So you're gonna have a mixture of like everything that can, you know, come and kill you. And that's about it. So basically, all you're doing is a whole lockdown. And if you guys do have the uh, Hellion Salvo, use that. It works perfectly fine. Um, actually, it works a little too good for this step. And the wall by shotgun, not the mob, but the other one that turns into like a grenade launcher, you can use that for this step. It is going to be, it's going to make this step much easier than using like a normal weapon. Because both weapons are explosives, and you kind of want to have like that area effect. So both those weapons do work. Um, they are really good for this stuff. But uh, the only thing about the shotgun is that I wouldn't take it into the boss fight. If you do take it to the boss fight, and trust me, I have, I've done it and I've tried. It just and it will take you the trap. super freaking long because like that what totally what we need. <laughs> The gun itself doesn't really do a lot of damage. It's like an explosive weapon, but it's only good against like zombies and everything else. It's good against everything else, but just bad against, against bosses. Damn it, I missed. But we had the uh, the Hellion Salvo. That's good against. That's good against all weapon or all enemies, including bosses. If anything, that's what you always want to spend for whenever you're like on boss fight. And by the way, you can use the circus kiss. I mean, I honestly, the circus kiss is not my favorite. I absolutely hate this wonder weapon with like a passion. It just sucks for me. And uh, honestly, yeah, I'm just not a fan. Definitely not a fan. Like honestly, I, I would love to have the kraken on this map because honestly, and you know what, the kraken. Could fit for this one. It could. Maybe. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. But the Kraken would have been good. It would have been like pretty good to have like another uh, mortar weapon that was, you know, not the Hellion or Darkness Kiss. I think I want to get myself a new mic arm. Oh, this is like, yeah, a new mic arm. You know, going back and playing all these different zombie maps has really got me thinking. And I want to make like, event. I will, you know what? I will be making like a whole another map of like the different thing. Maybe like the different things that we probably like missed out on. Uh, from past zombies because you know we've had some pretty cool like different things and in, in different uh zombies and i'm not gonna lie honestly i would like to see a ghost 2 if possible a ghost 2 advanced warfare 2 and i want i really want to see like an extinction extinction of two because if you guys do not know i will be um playing extinction so right now I'm currently finishing up uh, the Black Ops 4, uh, all the Black Ops 4 Easter eggs besides classified because you, you couldn't pay me enough to play this game for 150 rounds. Um, so yeah, I'm finishing up the Black Ops 4 uh, Easter eggs and then I'm also finishing up, well actually no, 
I'm finishing up Black Ops 4. I'm going to redo um, all of the Cold War Easter eggs. So basically, I'm kind of like going going back and playing all the different Easter eggs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and play Cold War. I'm doing. I'm currently working. I'm also work, currently working on. You know, I can't really say that because I haven't really been working on it. But I'm also gonna be doing the Advanced Warfare Easter eggs. I'm gonna try and do the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs, Black Ops 3, because uh, I haven't fully completed all the Black Ops 3 Easter eggs. Only ones I haven't done are. Revelations and Go Rock Rosie. And I'm going to try and see if I do a little help me out with that because I, in terms of the Black Ops 3 Easter eggs, Shadows was really easy. I was able to like fully understand that, but in terms of like all the other maps, I didn't really understand it. And I can't really say I watched too many. Uh, yeah, I didn't really watch too many Easter egg videos for Black Ops 3. But Shadows was the one that I knew the most of. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like brush up on the on the Easter eggs for Black Ops 3. That way I can like start doing that. Cause I I do plan on doing finishing out Black Ops 3. That's what I will say. I do plan on finishing out that. I actually want to do all the Easter eggs for it because I do have revel not revelation. Is it revelations? Yeah. Not the map, uh, the Chronicles, that's it, Chronicles, that's what I'm thinking of. I do have Chronicles, and I do want to try and do those easter eggs as well. But yeah, right now, oh, and if Black Ops also has uh, easter eggs, then I'm going to try and do that too, because I'm pretty sure, I know I'm doing Black Ops 2 or on Plutonium. I'm not trying to pay, you know, another 50 or I'm sorry, 50, 60 bucks just to play uh, old COD titles. And pretty much the only one that I'm going to be paying for will be Ghost. And that'll be it. But it's really nice to see that we're actually getting like a brand, another uh, zombies who are actually getting proper zombies because you know what? The Modern Warfare. Three zombies is not. I couldn't. I can't really say that's like zombies. It's just a reskin. Yeah, it's just a reskin of DMZ. That's pretty much all it is. So honestly, I just don't like it. It does. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel. It's not the same, and it doesn't feel the same. But it just doesn't feel right. Like in terms of outbreak, I feel like. I feel like Black Ops Cold War did a good job because it was like, it was ground based in a sense, but it was also like, little, uh, it wasn't like too much open world, but it was a little more open world. Only because of the fact that, it, you know, it was on a bigger, larger map and you had vehicles and all that. See, like if you could play, uh, Black Ops 3, like, Modern Warfare 3, uh, Zombies, for like an infinite amount of time, that I think it would have been better, but since it's only like an hour lo long time, yeah, hour long time limit, um, it just kills it for me. So, another one on boss fight, um, few things to remember, uh, Talion Salvo is the way to go for a boss fight, and... Nothing else. So, uh, have fun doing this with the Hellion Salvo because I mean that's the only way you can play this Easter egg. And for this Easter egg, all like it's gonna be initial. Initially, when you jump and go into boss fight, it's just gonna be gladiators and brawlers that spawn. No regular zombies, just gladiators and brawlers. And then uh, until the gate like goes up a certain amount, then you'll uh, fight against the real real boss and really it's like two bosses but it's kind of like exactly the same it's just like a phase one phase two but just you know i guess a different like just a different look because i mean they do exactly like practically the same exact thing and it's the same exact way to kill them too so uh not much to say about it but um pretty much the best way of doing it is like because the boss itself is the elephant 
for really just two elephants, but uh, one's bigger, one's smaller, and that's pretty much about it. The best way, the way you're supposed to be killing the elephants is you gotta destroy the chains on the sides. So that's why I say using a hellion is the best, your best option because hellion just I don't know why it just it's just the best thing in the game. Now, and it also does a whole bunch of damage. So, you gotta destroy the chains that are on the side of the elephant. Then, you just gotta kill the elephant. So, the way you know like you've done it right is that you hear chain popping sounds. And, once you do enough damage to like the chains, then uh, the rider itself is gonna like, you know, explode or, I don't know, fly off or some, some sort. Then you'll have to just fight the elephant itself. So, that pretty much all the boss fight is. Um, hope you guys do enjoy, and if you guys can, please do me a favor of leaving a like, subscribe, and if you guys do know anything about like FL Studios, um, or you know you have like somebody uh, like a good person for like beginners uh, to go to, please link them or yeah, you know, yeah, link them down in the comment section down below. And if you guys didn't make it all the way to this video, please. Also, comment that you made it. I would love to see it. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Appropriate show of force. Fury has fallen. Keep your games and your gods and your chaos. I am finished here. Wake me up. Um, so it is over, right? I should very much like to wake up and get drunk. Proclamation dictates you must grant us clemency. You should not have knowledge of such texts. You are but an ignorant slave. I know more than you think, and I'm nobody's slave. What are you talking about, Scarlet? Get your filthy hands off me! This can't be happening!
to. What is here? Yeah. Yeah. If you at least don't, if you don't at least see the single player cutscene, it's just weird. <laughs> 